Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, over here Custom Made in Jacksonville. And today I got another video for you guys. I'm taking the top down to a two, and I'm doing a medium skin fade, okay? First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing out my outline, my bottom line. Do this all the way around. And then once I get the bottom balled out, I'm gonna go ahead and take the top off. And you don't have to do it in this order. This is just the order that I decided to work in. Okay. Shout out to Barbara Luminati. Shout out to One Plus One Barbara out there in West Africa. What's up with y'all? Shout out to my boy Jackson. Shout out to my boy Jason. Shout out to Felice. Shout out to my boy Santana. Shout out to Miss Mika. Shout out to everybody out there in YouTube. Uh, that support the channel and uh, showing love. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my two guard and I'm gonna take all this off the top. Let me stand on this side right here so you guys can see. This here is a little bit tough, but we'll get it off. Number two, like I said. Get that number two off the top. Here we go. And I'm just going in every direction, trying to take off as much as I can on top, to I can't take off anymore. Okay. Now I got the top two and number two. Coming out. Make sure I get all of that excess hair off. I might have to reposition my camera just a little bit so I can get. Here we go. All right. Here we are. All right, the first step no guard, okay? And I want to get my client to straighten out his head. About a quarter inch high, right here on the side. With no guard. Okay? 
Same thing here. Put it in China. Same thing right here. Quarter inch high. Now I'm going to close my lever all the way and fade right below it. And I say close the lever all the way and fade right below that. What I'm trying to do is erase that bald line, okay? The first outline that I did with the uh, T-liners. Just like that. Okay. Next step, I'm grabbing my number one guard and I'm gonna fade right above that. Very simple. Number one guard open all the way. Okay. One guard opened all the way. So you want to go a little bit higher around the back because as you notice, the fade kind of drops a little bit at the back. So you kind of want to fade that one a little bit higher. Okay, so now I'm going to close the lever all the way, and I'm going to fade right below that one. That way that one and that note guard kind of transitions a little bit. Those of you that have been watching my fade technique, knows what the next guard that I'm going to use. If you guys haven't been watching me for a while, if you're new to my YouTube channel, Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button, and please comment below. Comment let me know what kind of clippers you guys are using, what kind of trimmers you guys are using for this haircut. This is a very common haircut, a ball fade or medium fade with a number two on top. Most people want this haircut, okay? So, next step is for me to grab my half guard and fade in between that no guard and one guard. Half guard, I opened it halfway, and I'm just trying to fade right in between. I can open and close the lever as I go, just to make sure that it transitions well. Okay, open and close as I go. I say open and close, I mean doing this with the lever. Remember we faded a little bit higher on the back, so I'm kind of go ahead and scoop up a little more in that back here, right? For those of you that are watching closely, I want you to take a look at my thumb. Notice how I'm opening and closing the lever. As I fade, just trying to straighten out my client a little bit. Okay, now the next, <coughs> the next step is to use my one and a half guard. So I went from a two to no guard to a one guard to a half guard, not to a one and a half guard. I know it sounds confusing, 
But hit rewind on the video. Take a look back at it. That's what I love about why I love videos so much. You can always rewind and go back and review the work. Okay? Shout out to those of you that have learned something from my videos. If you learned anything at all from my video, I want you guys to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram, custom underscore made underscore cuts. I'm going to leave a link below to my website. And uh, you guys can go on my website, purchase some clippers, purchase tools, whatever you need. Um, I have these tools right here on my website. I have uh, just a lot of cool things that you guys can buy directly from my website. You don't have to go to Amazon and find my stuff anymore. You can buy it directly from me at my website, and that's custommadebarberschool.com. Shout out to all the people that's supporting the channel, supporting the website. Appreciate you guys for showing love. It don't cost nothing to show love. Now, if y'all don't have no money or you don't, can't su uh, support financially, you can always just follow me on IG. Find me on Facebook. Show me some love on Facebook. You know, it doesn't cost you a thing to show love. But if you do have a generous bone in your body and you want to contribute to the channel, don't forget to hit me up on the website. And I'm not asking for anything free. Just buy one of my products, something that you might be able to use to better your skills, to better your uh, craft. And we all win. You win, I win. That's what you call a uh, codependent relationship. When uh, two people can get together and support each other in any kind of way. If you follow me on IG, Follow me on, uh, on Facebook. Uh, if you have products, I support you. You support me, and we can build a whole a whole network of uh, people that uh, you know support each other. Um, yeah, so like I said, shout out to uh, Barbara Lumnani. Shout out to One Plus One Barbara out there in West Africa, Ghana. Shout out to all of the Bob Illuminati guys in the Bob Illuminati gang. And when I say gang, I don't mean it like a like a organized crime organization or nothing like that. I mean shout out to the to the crew. Alright? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my customer a hairline. This right here is the hard day spring. I am going to comb it down, or brush down the hairs before I start drawing the hairline. My client has a lot of dandruff, which is understandable because we talked about that already. He's good. Um, And uh, I want you guys to uh, always go back and check your work. See, sometimes when I do haircuts, I can go back and see areas that might need a little bit of work. And uh, this is my one guard. I got the lever closed. Again, I'm opening it halfway as I fade up a little bit. So if you see imperfections in your haircuts, don't be afraid to go back and do some detail work or some cleanup work, okay? I want you guys to always be willing to go back and double check your work. And, uh, you know, there's been a lot of times where I record videos, and even after I turn the video off, I would still go back and make corrections on my haircuts. Not that I'm trying to cheat my viewers or anything like that. It's just that sometimes, you know, you might see things from a different angle and say, hey, let me attack this line or, you know, uh, like I always tell most of my students, I always tell them, hey, there's no such thing as a perfect haircut. But it's always go back. It's good to go back to, and check your work and make sure that you're giving your client the best possible cut that you can. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that, like I said. So, okay. So now, I'm going to go ahead and start doing the hairline. What I like to do is I like to stand directly behind my client. 
face in the mirror, that way I can get an accurate picture of what they see with their hairline. So I like to look this way, make sure they got their head real straight. And then I like to stand directly in front of my client when I draw my first line and I make sure that I get the middle line first. Okay? The middle line first. And this is the part that's very crucial. You want your curve to stand still. You want them to keep your head straight. Me, after I draw my first guideline, line, that first line, I like to work my way to the left. That works best for me. Some people like to go right. I go left. Then I work my way to the right. I know this is a bad camera angle for you guys, but this is good for me to make sure I get a nice, concise, straight line. And you always want to check back behind the client, make sure they got their head straight, make sure you get the best and the straightest possible line. You gotta be very careful too, because there's some clients, when you're cutting their hair, you go like this with the clipper and their hair move, their head move. You don't want that because you could mess up their hairline. So some people, what I do to stop that from happening is I actually hold the top of their head. This is what I do. And I know this makes for bad angles while I'm doing this video, but it works for me. And like I said, it's not about making the best video to me. To me, it's about leaving the client with the best haircut possible. So. What I always do is try to get my hairline, my sidebar, to line up with my, the corners of my clients. And the way I do that is So like I said, this is the last part of the video, and uh, we are all no, it's all good. We, we are all set. I'm gonna do some enhancement. Let me give you a final picture of the video, when we're all done. Okay. Well, I tell you what, let's just go ahead and do an enhancement while I got you guys here. That way, I don't have to do any editing. And uh, this is my Kiss Express uh, enhancement. This is secret sauce, y'all. And uh, I guess I can do it all the way around. Yeah, up front. What happened to Jackson for me? Once I get this part done, we are all set up. And like I said, as a barber, you always want to make sure you check back with your work, make sure everything's good, make sure everything's level. Um, I'm comfortable with this haircut, although I see little things that I might have to do to tighten this up. But uh, this is the final cut. If y'all have any questions, comments, or concerns, don't forget to comment below. Follow me on Instagram, custom underscore made underscore cuts. And